Tucked away in a northeast industrial zone of the city is Gilead, Alberta, a subsidiary of Gilead Science, a biopharmaceutical company that discovers, develops, and commercializes innovative medical therapies for some of today's most challenging diseases. The important work we're doing is I mean, treating things like HIV. There isn't a cure for HIV, uh, but we are making people's lives livable. Hepatitis C, we're working on actually curing the disease. Similarly with uh, cancer treatments, we just started to move into that. We're looking for new and better ways of actually uh, helping the patients live longer. What our goal here is to uh, develop a manufacturing process, so a way to make that uh, scalable, to supply quantities of that material from kilogram up to ton quantities uh, to supply clinical trials and we do a little bit of commercial manufacturing here. Of Gilead's 300 staff members, including 75 process chemists and 60 analytical chemists, most are U of A, McEwen, or Nate graduates. Primarily in uh, laboratory positions, uh, process development, the chemists primarily, uh, analytical development chemists, QC. Uh, we've also added quite a few people in the plant, so a lot of NAID graduates would go in and work in uh, chemical processing and making the active ingredients that we make here. Based in California, Edmonton is Gilead's largest Canadian holding, getting bigger, but committed to perfection and consistency of those production drugs. Uh, right now, the process that's in these vessels is an intermediate for idelolicid, which is our recently launched oncology compound. It begins in the lab with process development and analytical development, so we're defining the route and the analytical methods that we're going to use to, to analyze those compounds to make sure that they meet our requirements. We do organic chemistry, um, so we're doing a lot of reactions and solutions. Um, when we think about scaling it up, a lot of chemical engineering comes into that. What we're making is the active pharmaceutical ingredients, so we're not making anything in a, in a final dosage form, not tablets or capsules. Those are done at a, a, a secondary site. The clinical trials can last several years, so it's, it's a long process from initial to discovery to ultimate commercialization. Now Gilead is building a second lab here, costing some $50 million that will provide another 44,000 square feet, due in 2016. And this is basically to expand our capabilities on the analytical and the process development side that will support the manufacturing and piloting we do for the clinical trials. So a lot of laboratory space, a lot of uh, equipment, analytical equipment and uh, uh, process development equipment will go in there with the 80 people that will be in that building. That will bring more full-time positions for international and local graduates and PhD scientists. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.